you for watching on YouTube and on our website. 欢迎大家通过 YouTube 我们的网站视频观看我们的礼拜。Good afternoon, we're having a YouTube in Sito de Nere. You're here at the Baptist Tabernacle of Los Angeles in the morning service. 你是参加我们洛杉矶市中心浸信会幕早上的礼拜。Tosh ta sakang ng tama na kalo Baptista ng si Bisto de la Manana. I was in the hospital last week and the surgeon worked on me. Dealing with a cancer situation. 上周星期三呢，我进了医院做了个癌症手术。As to my great surprise, I was able to preach last night Saturday morning. Surprise, I was able to preach last night Saturday night. To my great surprise, I was able to preach last night Saturday night. You'll be able to see that sermon in a couple of days on the internet. 很奇怪，我昨天晚上能够有精力，能能向来讲道。没错，几天你可以看到。没说不能听，这个不能不听。God in Sabbath day, no one does not miss this one. This morning, our speaker is Dr. Christopher Kagan. 今天早上我们讲到的科里托斯啊，叫凯根博士给我们讲到。As the man number the Carol Doctor Christopher King. I want to say just a word about him. He's going to come and give his testimony, then he's going to preach a sermon. 一会儿他给我们做个见证，然后宣道。Yeah, but get out of this alcohol deal. Yeah, but pretty good. Doctor Kagan is one of the most intelligent and spiritual men that I have ever known. 凯根博士是我所认识中间最属灵界而且最聪慧的一个人之一。Doctor Kagan is one of the most smart, intelligent, most spiritual, spiritual guy I've ever seen. He was raised in a Jewish home. 他在一个犹太人家庭长大。Where can I go to God? Can I go to you? But they never went to synagogue. 但他们从来没有去犹太会堂。Pero nunca fueron a la sinagoga. His father was a brilliant professor at the University of San Francisco. 他父亲在三藩市大学那边教书。His father was a brilliant professor at the University of San Francisco. Dr. Kagan, as a young man, came down to UCLA. Kagan 博士年轻的时到 UCLA 来读书。The hoping Dr. Kagan came to the University of California, Los Angeles, where he earned a bachelor's degree and a master's degree and a PhD in mathematics. 他一直读数学，一直读到数学博士毕业。Recibió título de de ahí de de universidad de maestría doctorado todo en matemáticas. He was an atheist. So we're all his family. 一些一家人都是，他们多得了不明。They thought he'd gone crazy when he became a Christian. 当他成为基督徒，他那些都以为他发疯了。本山龙克西说罗克，他不会跟你讲。But there's nothing crazy about Dr. Kagan. I want him to come and give you a brief testimony of how he became a Christian. Give him a good hand. 欢迎凯哥博士做见证。好，今天咱们的节目就就这么快结束了。Thank you. As our pastor said, I was not raised in a Christian home. 牧师刚才讲了，我并不是在一个基督教家庭长大。But come on, tell us what you know. We can have more God Christian. I did not go to church even once until I was 21 years old. 直到我二十一岁的时候呢，一直从来没去过教会一次。No, we like this. You know, we are not going to be able to do that. I did not believe in God. 不相信有神。You know, believe in God. I thought that when a person dies, that's it. 以为人一死了之。I thought that religion, Christianity, the Bible was for 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 stupid people who didn't know anything. 我以为那些宗教、圣经，而且其他一切的信仰呢，都是愚昧的人所信的。But said the Christian that the Bible and the Bible have to be looked at by another. And I went down to college at UCLA here in Los Angeles. 结果去到 UCLA 读书。We are at the University of God in UCLA, in Los Angeles, studying mathematics, 学习数学 ，study mathematics. And I had big, big plans. 我有很大的这个计划安排。Then I had grandless plans. I wanted to be great and important. 我要做一个名人，做一个伟大的人。I worked my way through. I worked my way through. So I took, so I took a job. So I found a job. Then two jobs. Then two jobs. Then three 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 jobs. By the time I was 30, and then go on from there. 当时我计划在三十岁呢，三十而立的时候得到一百万，然后继续发财发下去。你们都都在那工资里，我们有的多了，那是按照的，按照的，到底多少工资给的？ But inside, I had no peace. Inside, I was lonely and unhappy. But inside, I was lonely and unhappy. 
God had a plan for me. He always stood up loud for me and loved me when I didn't love him. One day there came a test that I just didn't know how to study for and couldn't take. And without knowing what I was doing, I cried out in one prayer to God. And the next day, God made Himself real to me. Not only did I pass the test, but the far more important thing was God was real. I knew God was real. I knew Jesus was real. I've never doubted it since, and I knew that I needed to trust Jesus. 从那之后呢，我一直没有怀疑过神是真实的，耶稣是真实的。接着他帮助我通过了考试，那不是，那是次要，最主要是神变成真实。Dios fue real para mí en ese momento. De Jesús fue real. Yo sabía de que yo tenía que confiar en Jesús. But I did not trust Jesus. I kept on fighting against God. I refused Jesus for two years. Because I was wrestling, I was fighting against God. I didn't want him to change my plans. Asked me to do something I didn't want to do. 不想神来改变我人生的计划，安排我走不同的路。Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I said something I don't want to say. I started going to church. 开始我去教会。I said in the Bible. I read the Bible. 读圣经。Read the Bible. And God showed me in the Bible, riches profit not in the day of wrath. 结果圣经里面讲呢，就是这钱财在发怒之日毫无益处。Dios me enseñó la Biblia de que las riquezas no aprovechan en el día de la ira. My money and my plans would do me no good. 我的金钱，我的计划对我毫无益处。Mi dinero y mi plan no me iba a ayudar. But I kept on struggling and fighting. No, no, no. 但我仍然在争斗，不不就不愿意。Pero continué luchando. No, no, no. One day after two years, I went to a Christian meeting. 在一两年之后，有一天晚上，我参加基督教的聚会。Un día después de dos años fui a una reunión. And a man preached on the blood atonement of Jesus Christ from the book of Hebrews. 结果那个人通过希伯来书讲到了耶稣基督宝血能赎罪。El hombre predicó sobre la expiación del pago de la sangre de Jesús en el libro de Hebreos. I went back again. 我又回去了。Yo regresé. After a few weeks, I was convicted. I knew I had to trust Jesus. 几周之后，我知道自己必须信靠耶稣。Después de una cuarta semana, yo era convictado. Yo sabía que necesitaba confiar en Jesús. And so one night, I very simply and definitely crossed over to Jesus Christ and trusted Him. 这个有那么一天晚上，我确确实实的越过了这个界限，走向了耶稣基督，进入了天国。Una noche, yo de la fija, yo de ciertamente de conocer de ir a ver a Jesús y confiar en él. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever. To a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting unbeliever to a trusting in Christ, Christian. I went from a self-trusting I have a wonderful wife and two fine boys. I would never have had that without Jesus. I have friends in the church and an honored place. I would never have had friends in a healed life without Jesus. And God has been with me. And He gave me a wonderful life and the hope of heaven in Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Dr. Kagan is the smartest man and the most spiritual man I've ever known. 是我所凯根博士最聪慧而且最属灵的一个人物。
Dr. Kagan es el hombre más inteligente, más espiritual he, que yo jamás he, he conocido. He prays for at least an hour every day. Él ora por lo menos una hora cada He's día. He's an expert in the biblical languages. Experto en los idiomas bíblicos. He went on to earn a master's degree from Talbot Theological Seminary. Recibió de maestría de teología de la Talbot Seminario. And a second PhD in Christian apologetics from the Claremont Graduate School. Mathematician, theologian, Bible teacher, and tremendous Christian, both of his sons here today and his lovely wife. And I want you to hear his sermon, but first, Mr. Griffith, as always, will come to sing one of Dr. Kagan's favorite songs. You may be seated. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath that blood lose all their guilty stains lose all their guilty stains lose all their guilty stains and sinners plunged beneath that blood lose all their guilty stains I won't press your soul de sangre de Manuel. I'll sumergis el pecador sus manchas perderá. Sus manchas perderá. Sus manchas perderá al sumergirse el pecador. Sus manchas perderá. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins. And sinners plunged beneath that flood Lose all their guilty stains Lose all their guilty stains Lose all their guilty stains And sinners plunged beneath that flood lose all their guilty stains. I want to say one more word, Dr. K I want to say one more word. Dr. Kagan is also the associate pastor of this church and my right hand man. Give a good welcome to Dr. Kagan. Thank you. Please remain standing and take your Bible and turn to the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 14. That's page 1299 in the Schofield Study Bible. Hebrews, chapter 9. Verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Verse 
Cuanto más la sangre de Cristo del cual mediante el Espíritu Eterno se ofreció de sí mismo de sin mancha a Dios, limpiará de vuestra conciencia de obra muerta para que sirváis al Dios vivo. You may be seated. So, Some time ago, a pastor preached that America was under the judgment of God because we have killed 57 million babies by abortion. When he said that, a woman stood up and walked out. Why did she do that? Because she had had an abortion. Her conscience bothered her. She had no peace. The Bible says, There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. But she didn't stay to hear how she could be pardoned of that sin by the blood of Christ. Instead, she went out. And that's why many pastors today don't preach on the subject of abortion, even though it is the greatest sin of our nation. They're afraid of offending the unconverted ladies in, the, in their churches. And some of these ladies have had an abortion, or a relative or friend has had an abortion. And his pastor is afraid, the pastor is afraid that they'll leave. But oh, oh, oh God, that pastors would not preach to keep people happy, but they would preach the truth about sin. And forgiveness in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Canada, a preacher gave a sermon and read from Romans chapter 3 verse 10 there is none righteous no not one when he did that a woman stood up and walked out why did she do that? Because her son had died without trusting Christ. And she wanted to believe that he was righteous. She didn't want to think about him dying in his sin. People don't like to think about sin and living and dying without Christ. It bothers their conscience. For many years, Dr. Heimer's pastor at the Chinese church was Dr. Timothy Lin. Dr. Lin was an expert scholar of Old Testament languages. And he wrote an article about the conscience. And there he said, conscience is the faculty or the ability of man's knowing right and wrong. Your conscience tells you whether you're right or wrong. 
你的良心会告诉你，到底形式是正确还是错的。To conscience that this is not b e i n must not smile. If you continue to sin, your conscience becomes guilty. 若你继续不断犯罪，你的良心就非常自责。Si continua pecando tu conciencia, se hace culpable. And the only way to have your conscience cleansed is to have it purged by the blood of Christ. Our text says, "How much more shall the blood of Christ purge your?" Conscience. 唯一能使你良心化为清白的方法，就是通过耶稣宝血来清洗。我们经文指出，他的血岂不更能洗净你的良心吗 ？La única manera de tener tu conciencia limpia de ser purgada por el pecado y librada es por la sangre de Jesús. Cuando más la sangre de Cristo limpiará vuestra conciencia. The Bible says a lot about how the conscience becomes guilty and how it can be cleansed, purged. By the blood of Christ, 圣经里面有很多的篇幅来谈到良心如何变得邪恶，如何得到清白，如何得到清洗。La Biblia dice mucho de la conciencia siendo culpable como puede ser limpiada por la sangre de Jesús. First, why your conscience needs to be purged? 第一，你的良心为什么需要清洗 ？Primero, por qué tu conciencia necesita ser limpiada? When you do something right, your conscience Approves. 当你做事正直的时候，你良心会认同你。Cuando haces algo bien, tu conciencia dice bien. But when you do wrong, your conscience accuses you. 但当你做坏事的时候，你良心会指责你。Pero cuando haces algo mal, tu conciencia te acusa. The Bible says their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts accusing or else excusing one another. 圣经这样指出，他们的是非之心同作见证，他们互相较量，或以为是，或以为非。La Biblia dice dando testimonio su conciencia de acusándolo o defendiéndolos. For the Bible says sin is the transgression or the breaking of the law. 圣经这样指出，违背律法就是犯罪。La Biblia dice que el pecado es la infracción o el quebrantamiento de la ley. God says thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not lie. 神说呢，你不可做假见证，不能说谎。Dios dice no hablar a falso testimonio, no mentiras. And you know you shouldn't, but you lie anyway. You know, but 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 you 但你良心知道你犯的偷东西是错，但你仍然这样去做。Pero sabes tu conciencia de que malo, pero roba lo haces. God says to be in church every Sunday. 圣经里面讲，神告诉你每周要去教会。Dios dice que estar en la iglesia cada domingo. But you say no, I won't do that. I'll do something else. 但你说我不愿意去，我要做其他事儿。Pero tú dices no, no lo haré, haré otra cosa. And Jesus calls to you, come unto me. Jesus tells you, and your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. Your conscience tells you you need to come to Him. To get away from, to quiet the voice of your conscience. You can try to escape the voice of your conscience. No, que se trata de escapar a ahí a ser acallada la voz de tu conciencia. You might take drugs or drink alcohol to not think about your sin. 甚至可能去吸毒、酗酒，要不去思考你的罪恶。Que se toma droga o alcohol para no pensar en tu pecado. You might stay away from church. Because you don't want to think about your sin. 或者呢，根本不想去教会，不去思考你的罪。但连汉德勒格雷西亚伯卡斯那个都觉得本杀人不高。You may spend hour after hour playing video games, wasting time on the computer, so you don't think about your sin. 或者你花一个钟头接一个钟头去打电脑的游戏机，要不去思考你的罪恶。都给他发上 hora tras hora jugando juegos de video para no pensar en pecado. Or you might keep yourself busy, 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 busy. In school or in work, really, not to think about your soul and your sin. 或者工作学习工作学习一直繁忙下去，来回避思考自己的罪恶。Okay, so that the money that must have been left in school or the job, but I don't pay for it in the backup. To to hide from the voice of your conscience. 为了逃避你良心的呼声。But I can't bear the load of the conscience. And you might even try to do what people call a good deed to quiet the voice of your conscience. 甚至呢，有可能以后行些所谓的善事来平息良心的声音。Do que se trata de hacer lo que la gente dice una buena obra para apagar la conciencia. 
But that that can't take away your sin before God. Pero eso no puede quitar el pecado en frente a la vista de Dios. The Bible says all our righteousnesses, all of our so-called good things, are as filthy rags, dirty clothes before God. David dice que todos nuestros actos de justicia no son como trapo de mundicia. And the record of your past is still there. God knows. And God knows your heart. He knows inside of you. That's why the Bible says, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified. You can't get to heaven by trying to be good. That's why you need Jesus, the Son of God, to do for you what you can't do for yourself. For it is the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, that cleanses us from all sin. Por eso es de que tú necesitas la sangre de Jesucristo que limpia tu pecado de todos los pecados. You, you might think your sin is a secret that nobody knows. Only you know. But God knows. And the Bible says, God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. And Jesus Christ said, There is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Everything will be revealed, and everything, all your secret sin, will be known and revealed at the judgment. You might make an excuse for your sin. That's what people do. To quiet, to hold down your conscience. And one big excuse is to point to other people. Everybody's doing it, you say. All my friends are like me. Or, yeah, true, I won't trust Jesus Christ, but there's other people who won't trust Him either. Or, there's, I'm not as bad as some other people. But how does that help you and make you not guilty of your sin? You and they will be condemned at the last judgment. The Bible says, And I saw the dead, small and great, everyone, stand before God, and the books were opened, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books. Now let me ask you a question. You say, well, other people are like me too, or somebody else is worse than me. How will that do you any good when you and they are judged for your sin and cast into the lake of fire? 
，当你和其他那些一同被投入火湖中间，这一切对你有什么帮助？ God, dime cómo te ayudará a ti eso cuando ellos y tú ambos son echados en el lago de fuego del fuego. How will it help you to hear their sins and yours read out of God's books and see them cast into the fire of hell when you go there yourself? 当你看到那些一一的读出他们的罪恶的时候，而结果呢，你自己也被他们一同投入火湖中间，对你有什么好处？ Como te ayudará a ti cuando vea los pecados de ellos y los tuyos leídos y ambos echados al fuego del infierno? No good at all. 根本一点帮助没有。No te ayudará. That's why you need to trust Jesus and be forgiven by His blood before it's too late. 这就是为什么在太迟之前，在你死之前，一定要信靠主耶稣，得到保险的清洗。我来说，这个天那个公表，这个说，谁不知道那不拉三个人，安得个些那么些多道的。And your conscience tells you about your sin. 而且你的良心告诉你，你是个罪人。No conscience that listens to my call. But you won't listen. 但你不肯听。Better not to listen. You hold on to your sin. 你不断的继续犯罪。Do a garra do to my call. You hold on to your excuses. 继续的坚持自己的借口。But then it does cost us. You refuse to trust Christ. 你拒绝的信靠耶稣基督。Reus ad confiare in Jesus. And then you become set in your mind. 最后呢，你习以为常了，犯罪了。You don't set the stars in your mind. Simply, you get used to yourself. 也就简单来讲，你对犯罪的习以为常。That goes from us to him. And getting used to yourself without Jesus is a very bad place to be in. 当你没有信耶稣的时候，绝对是犯罪生活，习以为常是很糟糕的情形。Acostumbrar a ti mismo de sin Jesús es un mal lugar para estar. And some of you here are in exactly that place today. 你们很多在座的人正是处在这样的处境下。Alguno acá está en ese mismo lugar aquí hoy. Your heart becomes like cement. 你的心像变得水泥一样。El corazón es tal como cemento. Your conscience gets dirty. The Bible says even their mind and conscience is defiled, dirty, contaminated. 圣经讲，连他们心地天良也都污秽了，受到了污染。Ah, does your mind, does your conscience, does it stand corrupted? And it doesn't bother you as it ought to. 你的良心不再去指责你了。Not to molest at all, come on, baby. Finally, you get to the point where your conscience doesn't bother you at all. 最后一步呢，你良心根本不再去指责你了。Finalmente llega al lugar donde la conciencia no te molesta de nada. The Bible speaks of people having their conscience seared with a hot iron. 圣经降旨说，他们的心呢，良心好像被热铁烙灌了一般。La Biblia dice de la gente que tiene miedo de que cuando risa de la conciencia burned with a hot iron, 被这个烙铁已经烧糊了。Que mató con un hierro caliente. Your conscience can get so burned that you don't feel guilty, and you don't you, and you don't think about coming to Christ. And though you live on for years, you never come to Jesus. 结果你良心到这个地步，已经到了麻木的地步，生活可以继续很多年，再也不能信靠耶稣了。Tu conciencia te puede ser tan la que mata de que no pensará más de venir a Jesús. You're given up to a reprobate mind. It is entregado a una mente reprobada. And what does that mean? 什么意思 ？Qué quiere decir eso? God no longer speaks to you in a saving way, in an awakening way. 神就再也不会向你说话来引导你得救了。Dios ya no te habla de una manera que salva. God no longer speaks to you. 神不再对你说话。Ya Dios no habla a ti. Why? 为什么 ？Por qué? Because you wouldn't listen to him when he did. Because he once spoke to you, you didn't listen to him. Because you didn't listen to him when he did. Because you didn't listen to him when he did. Oh, don't! I plead, don't, don't let that happen to you. I plead, don't, don't let that happen to you. I plead, don't, don't let that happen to you. I plead, don't, don't let that happen to you. I plead, don't, don't let that happen to you. I plead, don't, don't let that happen to you. Trust Jesus. Only the blood of Jesus can clear your conscience. 信靠耶稣吧，仅有耶稣的宝血才能清洗你的良心。靠耶稣基督，所罗门的拉圣灵的耶稣，为了保守你的良心。How much more shall the blood of Christ purge your conscience? That's what it does. The blood of Christ will purge, clear your conscience, and nothing else will do that. 他的血岂不更能洗净你们的良心吗？只有耶稣的宝血能办到。
For, for Jesus gave his blood to wash your sin away, and there's no payment greater than that. If you trust Jesus, your record of sin will be washed clean. And you won't need to fear the last judgment. Because the blood of Christ will stand forever as your payment in your place. Second, how your conscience can be purged. Your conscience speaks to you of your sin. Perhaps not as strongly as it should. But you remember your sin. You need your sins pardoned. You need your conscience cleansed. You need your conscience purged. And it's the blood of Christ which will do that. How much more shall the blood of Christ purge your conscience? For of course, Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin, and he offered himself without spot to God. He made peace through the blood of his cross. On the third day, he rose from the dead. And he, listen to this, he went back up into heaven to bring that same blood before God. Yes, he, he went into the presence of God and he took his own blood into the temple of God in heaven and placed his blood there on the altar. For the Bible tells us by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place. And God the Father is satisfied with the blood of Christ. For the Bible speaks of Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation, a, a payment of satisfaction through faith in his blood. And the blood of Jesus satisfies the wrath, the anger of God against your sin. And then God can let you into heaven because the blood of Christ has paid for your sin and washed it away. Our, our text says, how much more shall the blood of Christ purge your conscience? What do you mean, purge my conscience? The Greek word translated purge is a form of the Greek word katharizo. 
La palabra limpiar en griego es catharizo. And we get the Greek, the English word catharsis from it. And when someone has a cathartic experience, what does that mean? It means a complete release, a, a blowout, letting it all go, letting it out. And I tell you, based on the word of God itself, that is what the blood of Jesus does for your sin. Gone, let out, released. The Bible says, as far as the east is from the west, as far as that, so far hath he removed our transgressions, our sins from us. And God says, I will not remember your sins. Now listen to this. You haven't heard this. Listen to this. After he purged our sins with his blood, Jesus had nothing left to do for our sins. For the Bible says, when, when Jesus had by himself purged our sins, he sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. After he purged our sins, Jesus just sat down. Sins were covered, sins were purged, nothing. He, he sat down, that was it. That you say, what is Jesus sitting down after he put our put his blood on the altar in heaven? What has that got to do with me? Quite a lot. Now you listen to me. Escucha. A few weeks ago, I spoke to a young man who is always analyzing himself. And many of you are just like that. I asked him to trust Christ. And he said, listen carefully. I can't get that to happen. I can't get it to happen. Now think. What is that? What is it? That and it are his feelings. If he somehow had the right feeling, which he doesn't have, he'd say he's saved. But he and no one else, not he and not you, will ever be saved that way, no matter how many times you try. Because salvation doesn't come that way. It comes by trusting Christ himself, himself, and not by looking inside of you to see if that 
or it has happened. Jesus didn't analyze himself when he placed his blood on the altar in heaven. He didn't analyze himself and afterwards to see what he was thinking and feeling. No, he placed his blood as an atonement for sin and then sat down. No, and I say, away with your analysis, away with it, away with that. Trust Jesus and sit down. Earlier in this sermon, I quoted from an article by Dr. Timothy Lin. In that same article, Dr. Lin wrote about the struggles of a man named Augustine. He was concerned about his soul. You see, he had lived in sin. And he had refused to believe in Jesus. But finally, he became worried about his soul, concerned about his soul. And he didn't know what to do. One day in a garden, he heard the voices of children singing. And they were singing, take and read, take and read. And he listened to that and turned and saw a copy of the book of Romans which he had put nearby. And there he read two verses from Romans chapter 13. And there again he saw his sin. And then he read these words. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. That was it. He put on Christ. That was all. He trusted Christ. That was everything. He became one of the greatest Christians of all time, but that was after he put on, in a simple act, he put on Jesus Christ. And that was all he needed for that was everything. So I say to you, why don't you trust Jesus? That's all, that's everything. His blood will purge your sin. Your, your record will be clear before God. And listen to our text again, for there is much more in there for you. Oh, there's great wealth in a single verse of the Bible. Let him purge your conscience too. 
要叫让他也能洁净你的良心。Que limpie tu conciencia también. How much more shall the blood of Christ what purge your conscience? 他的血岂不更能洗净你们的良心？ Cuando más la sangre de Cristo que limpiará vuestra conciencia. What, what, what about me? How, how can I? What does that mean to me? Let him, let his blood be your assurance. Don't look at yourself for assurance or a feeling. Let his blood save you. 不要在内心寻求某种确据，让耶稣基督成为你内心的确据。No me necesito que haga la sangre de Felipe. And and why analyze yourself for it that some feeling to see what might have happened? You tried that; it didn't do you any good. 要叫你曾经自我分析过，对你毫无用处，对不对 ？Por qué analizar de ti mismo para ver si esto eso pasó? No te hizo bien eso. Again, great riches in our one verse. The same verse says that the blood of Christ will purge your conscience from dead works. 同节经文这样讲：基督的血能够洗净你的良心，除去你的死刑。Por qué no es hasta ti mismo de tu vida? Ahí es que deja que limpia tu conciencia de obras muertas. Your dead works. 你的死刑啊 ，obras muertas. The dead works of your empty prayers. 你的死亡的行为包括了空洞的祷告。那巴拉达 obras de tu oración es vacías. The dead works of your thoughts and feelings. 你这种死刑包括了想法和感受。那是 obras muertas de lo que tú sientes. The dead works of your trying to be good. 处死的行为包括你的善功。那不那 obras de que tú tratas de ser bueno. The dead works of self-analysis. 而且没有，就根本就是自我分析，也是这种死刑。那不那 obras de la análisis propio. The dead Dead works of it and that. Your 这和那个的死亡的行为。Ella muerta de obra de esto de eso análisis. Away with your dead works. They're dead. 抛弃这些死刑吧，都是这影像死亡的。Basta con tus obras muertas, tan muertas. Trust Jesus. How much more shall the blood of Christ purge your conscience? 要信靠耶稣基督，他的宝血岂不更能洗净你的良心吗 ？Cuando más la sangre de Jesús limpiará tu conciencia muerta. And Jesus' blood settles the issue. It ends the question, and it ought to end the question for you too. 要叫耶稣保险解决了一切的问题，他也应该让你解决这些问题。那个三个人的耶稣解决了问题，他们得不得解决了问题？是这么简单？一切都落实了吗 ？Yes, it is that simple. 是这么简单？一切都落实了吗 ？Puede ser tan simple si es tan simple. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sin. Yourself. 信靠耶稣吧，不要信自己。Confía en Jesús, no en ti mismo. Is it that simple? 就那么简单吗 ？Yes. Simple. Yes. 对。See. Trust Jesus, and you'll be saved forever. 信靠耶稣基督，你将永远得救。Confía en Jesús, y serás salvo por siempre. You have just heard Dr. Christopher Kagan. 你刚才听了凯根博士给我们讲道。Gavin, let's go talk to Dr. Christopher Kagan. In my wildest imagination, I would never have thought. That an introverted, lonely Jewish boy who was an atheist would ever be able to stand up and preach better than Billy Graham, but he sure does, doesn't he? Amen. In my wildest imagination, I would never have thought that an introverted, lonely Jewish boy who was an atheist would ever be able to stand up and preach better than Billy Graham, but he sure does, doesn't he? Amen. 我跟凯根博士同样的方式来得救。They have decided to use the same way as Dr. Kagan. I was trying to be a perfect person, trying much like John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist Church. I was trying to be perfect. I couldn't do it. John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist Church. I was trying to be perfect. I couldn't do it any more than John Wesley could. 我总想像卫斯理那样呢，约翰卫斯理一直想行善，一直到那个完全这个地步。我当时当时想 perfect on the tal como da Wesley la fundador de la iglesia metodista y no podía. And one morning in a chapel service, 
I simply trusted Jesus. That was, that was, I was 20 years old. That was 53 years ago. And he has kept me saved ever since. When you come to Jesus and trust him, he will hold me fast. He will hold me fast. For my Savior loves me so. He will hold me fast. And when you come and trust him, Trust the Lord Jesus. He will hold you fast. And keep you safe. I want you to turn to number six on your song sheet. Number, number six. I'm going, to, I'm going to give the appeal this morning. We'll sing the first stanza and then I will give the appeal. If you say, I am ready to trust him, I am ready to trust Jesus and not look for any sort of inward proof of it. While we sing the first stanza again, I want you to get out of your seat and walk through the back door. And Dr. Kagan will take you to the inquiry room and we will talk to you and pray with you. All right, now we're looking, look down, don't look around to see who's going, look down and sing. Number six, verse one again. Number six, verse one. Amen.
before you start, and I'll be there to help you. If you've been watching this sermon by Dr. C. L. Kagan, thank you for watching. It is a simple thing to trust Jesus. It took me just a few moments back when I was 20 years old. To put my trust and my faith and my hope in Him. You may be watching this, I don't know where, all, any place in the world where this goes, and you say, Pastor, what should I do? The first thing you should do is watch the rest of this tape, of this videotape. Because I'm going to come back in just a second, about a second from now, and I'm going to tell you how Dr. A. W. Tozer, how he became a Christian, and by hearing his testimony, I believe it'll help you. Then whatever else you do, this is probably the most important. Find a Bible-believing church. And get into that church. And get to know the pastor and get to know the people. There's nothing like a good Bible believing local church being involved in it, be there every time the doors open. That will help you to grow and become a strong Christian like nothing else I know. God bless you and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's sermon. And if you are not saved, I urge you to come to Jesus. When I was a young person, I went forward uh, many, many times uh, to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. When I did get saved, it was a very simple matter. I simply came to Jesus and trusted Him, and He saved me and washed me clean with His blood. It's extremely to, important to know where Jesus is. I don't think I really thought about that uh, before the, I was saved, the day I was saved. Right now, Jesus is not in the air all around us. Uh, he's not on the cross still. Uh, Jesus is not in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is, but not Jesus. The Bible says repeatedly, over and over again, that Jesus is at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. Jesús no está todo alrededor de nosotros, no está en el corazón. El Espíritu Santo sí está con nosotros, pero Jesús en la Biblia dice que está a la mano derecha de Dios el Padre en el cielo. And Jesus loves you. He's not angry with you. God the Father is angry with the wicked every day, 
But Jesus came into the world, the Son of God came into the world to save sinners. And he loves you. 神呢，每天都生那些罪人的气，因为为他们犯的罪。但是耶稣基督来到人间，他为了就是拯救罪人。Jesús no está enojado contigo. Jesús vino al mundo para salvar los pecadores. Él te ama. And God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Even though He was angry with sin, He loved the world and sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. 虽然神憎恶这些世间的罪孽，但是呢，他爱世人，将他自己的独生子赐到赐给我们，让一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。约翰福音三章十六节。De tal manera amó Dios el mundo que dio su hijo unigénito para que cualquiera que crea en él no se pierda más tenga vida eterna. Sometimes people ask me, how do you come to Jesus? 有时候常常有人问我，如何才能走向基督？ A veces la gente me pregunta cómo es que vienes a Jesús. I never answer that question because the Bible doesn't answer it. 我从来没有去回答这个问题，因为圣经没有这样回答。Nunca doy respuesta a esa pregunta porque la Biblia no da respuesta. When you are tired of your sin and tired of your struggle, then God will draw you to Jesus, and it will be a very simple matter. 当你厌倦了自己的罪恶的时候，当你厌倦了那种挣扎之下的时候，但是结果神就会自然而然引导你信靠基督了。Cuando estás cansado de tu pecado, entonces es un negocio fácil para que Dios te traiga a Jesús. Not long ago, I was reading again the testimony of the salvation of Dr. A. W. Tozer. 不久以前，我又一次读了读 A. W. Tozer 博士他得救的见证。Recién estaba leyendo de nuevo. En la conversión al testimonio de la doctor Tozer. Doctor Tozer heard a man preach the gospel on a street corner. 要叫投手博士在一个街头，在街边听到一个人宣讲福音。Doctor Tozer escuchó a alguien predicando el evangelio de una esquina. It was the first time he had ever heard the gospel. 这是他头一次、第一次听到福音的宣扬。Fue la primera vez de que había escuchado el evangelio. He was seventeen years old. 十七岁才。Diecisiete años de edad. And Dr. Tozer ran home. He didn't stop to talk to anybody or tell anybody about it. He ran home and went up into the attic of his house, of his father's house. 这个投手博士一路跑回家，路上没有跟任何人打招呼，跑到家以后去到阁楼上面，他的父亲家里的阁楼上面藏起来。Doctor Tozer no acogió de la casa después de escuchar eso. No le habló con nadie. Se puso automáticamente a la azotea de la casa. And he got down on his knees. And came to Jesus. 结果就在阁楼上面单独一个人跪下以后，在靠信念信靠了耶稣基督。Se arrodilló y vino enseguida a Jesús. And he went on to become one of the great preachers of the 20th century. 结果继续成为一个二十世纪最知名的一个传教士之一。Fue uno de los grandes predicadores del siglo XX. Perhaps that would be a good way for you to do. If you heard this sermon and you feel that you're lost, get in a quiet place by yourself. 有可能这是可以成为你得救的方式。当你在网站上听到了我们这个宣道的时候，可以自己一个人单独一个人在单独祷告。Quizá de eso sería bueno también para ti. Si estás escuchando este sermón y estás perdido, ve a un lugar callado tú solo. Get down on your knees. That helps to humble you. Get down on your knees and come to Jesus, and His blood will wash every sin away, past, present, and future. 这样跪下呢，帮助你作为一些卑微一下，让这样跪下请求神的，请求耶稣基督，请求神的原谅。这样呢，原谅你过去、现在和未来全部的罪孽。In cante tu rodillas y a ven a Jesús, él lavará tus pecados pasado, presente, futuro. Repent and believe in Jesus. 当忏悔，信靠主耶稣。Arrepiéntete, cree en Jesús. Turn away from your sinful lifestyle and get down on your knees and simply. By faith, come to Jesus. That's all He requires. Him that cometh to Me, I will in no wise cast out. He said in the sixth chapter of John. 在约翰福音六章，呃，这里面讲耶稣这样到我这里来，我绝不会离弃他们。所以你要抛弃自己邪恶的生活，结果转向耶稣，靠信仰的信靠他，这就是他所需要的一切了。Ese camino bien no lo rechazaré, dijo de breve en el Evangelio de Juan. And then, if you do come to Christ, I Pray that you will get in to a church as soon as possible and be in church every time the door is open. There's no more important advice that I can give you. Get into a church and be there every time the door is open. 
但是，当你得到转变之后，一定要找一个地方教会。每一次教会有活动，都去参加，没有比这更重要的了。一旦你得到转变，参加一个地方教会。No hay mejor consejo que te pido,、uh, puedo dar menos que ve a la iglesia y esté ahí cada vez que la puerta esté abierta. And if at all possible, make sure it's a church that preaches from the authorized King James Bible and sings the traditional hymns. 如果可能的话，这个教会应当是宣扬 King James 的版本，而且他们唱的是传统的圣诗。Si es posible, asegure de que sea de la King James y a los himnos antiguos. And go to the pastor and tell the pastor that you've been saved. 而且告诉了牧师你如何得救的。Habla con el pastor, dile que fuiste salvo. And the best advice I could possibly give you is to get in to a church, a local church. And be there every time the door is open. That's the way to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And be sure to send a tithe, give a tithe of your money to the church, and God will bless you. So, I give you the most important advice: is to enter a church, in that church, in the grace of the Holy Spirit, and take out your tithe of your money to the local church. Meet there in a local church. It's one of the best ways to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Meet there in a local church. It's one of the best ways to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Meet there in a local church. It's one of the best ways to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Meet there in a local church. Dios te bendecirá. Now, I would like to ask you to support this ministry and help us. 我现在希望你能够帮助我们的网站上面传道事业。Quiero pedirte de que nos ayudes apoyando esta este ministerio. Because these sermons are going out throughout the world in many many languages, and we're adding more languages almost every month. 要知道，我们这是通过网站各种各样的十几种语言，而且我们越来越多的语言，不断的每个月都要加上去，所以这是传遍世界的一个福音。Entonces, mones van a través del mundo en internet de muchos idiomas y añadimos más idiomas casi cada mes. And Dr. Kagan, who are, is our statistician, has estimated, based on various things that he studied, that 80 percent of those who watch these sermons, who read my sermons in manuscript form on this website. Eighty percent of them are pastors. Kagan 博士，我们教会的一个统计学家，他这样估计，就是在我们网站上面读我们讲到的一些朋友呢，百分之八十都是宣道士。Yeah, la doctor Kagan, que hace la estadística con nosotros, da piensa de que ochenta por ciento de la gente que ve estos videos, escucha de esa, son predicadores. And they are using these sermons when they get stuck, as as I often do,、uh, to give them a sermon idea. And、uh, in the third world. Uh, in places where the gospel cannot go, many preachers are preaching these sermons verbatim, right, word for word. 要知道，很多的牧师当他们自己根本没有不知道要宣讲什么的时候呢，通过网站可以得到一些启发。很多在第三世界国家那些教会的牧师，通过我们网站什么逐字逐句，就是用我们的讲的道来宣讲。Y ayuda pastores a veces cuando no saben a qué predicar, pero también en los países tercer mundo son la están predicando palabra por palabra. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know it until not too long ago. But one third of the world does not have any, not even one missionary doesn't have any missionaries from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No missionaries from the English-speaking world. In one third of the world. 不知道你有没有注意到，我是最近才发现，就是在三分之一世界上的地区，西方世界，美国、英国，而且欧洲和澳大利亚等等，那么西方世界传教士根本去不到世界三分之一地区。No sé si lo sabes, pero un tercio del mundo no tiene misioneros de, de, la, de que hablan inglés. Jesus said, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." 耶稣这样告诫我们，要往普天下去，向万民传福音。Eso dijo de id a todo da el mundo predicar el evangelio a cada criatura. But our Western missionaries cannot get into one third of the world. That's about two and a half billion people where our missionaries cannot go. 但是我们西方这个传教士大概有三分之一的地区，大概也就是两亿五千万的人，根本就是我们啊得啊达不到我们这些呃西方传教士那个啊他们这个声音之下。Un tercio del mundo, como un billón de gente, los misioneros nuestros no pueden ir ahí. But the native pastors are there. 但是有本地的传教士在那里。Pero los pastores nativos sí están ahí. And they are the only way, they are the only means of spreading the gospel in those countries is through the native pastors. 在那些地区，就是唯一通过地方的本地传教士来把福音传出去，是唯一的方式了。
Es la única manera de repartir los evangelio es a través de los nativos pastores. At the beginning of World War II, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, sent a message to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in America, and he said, "Give us the tools, and we'll finish the job." 第二次世界大战开始的时候，云顿·丘吉尔曾经发了一个信息，传给这个美国的总统罗斯福，这样祈求到说：“请你们把工具交到我们手中，我们就把这工作完成了。” Al principio de, de la guerra de mundial, Churchill le mandó una correspondencia al presidente Roosevelt diciéndole: "Mándanos las herramientas y nosotros terminaremos el trabajo." And that's what we're attempting to do with this website. We're sending the printed sermons, word for word. On the internet, to those nations in the Muslim world, the Buddhist world, the Hindu world, where our missionaries cannot go. This is what we are doing through this website. We are trying to send this gospel message directly to those countries, that is, the Muslim countries, and the Hindu countries, and other countries that the Muslim countries cannot go to. We are trying to send this gospel message directly to those countries, that is, the Muslim countries, and the Hindu countries. Y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Estamos mandando estos sermones a、uh, escrito palabra por palabra a los lugares musulmanes a、uh, uh, de otros、uh, del mundo que los misioneros no pueden ir. We're giving those native pastors the tools, and they will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. 我们把这些传福音的工具交在那些本地的传教士他们的手中，他们就会完成这样传福音的工作。Nosotros estamos dando a esos pastores las herramientas para que ellos puedan hacer el trabajo. And we are giving those pastors, those native pastors, the tools, and they will finish the job of going into all the world and spreading the gospel to every creature in that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. 我们就是把这个工具交到他们这些本地的那宣道士的手中，让他们去到那个三分之一我们西方传教士去不到的地方，往普天下去把这个福音传给万民听。他们是满当多，而且是他们在啥，是什么呢？应该是五天数的蒙多，都是让美西尼罗斯维斯诺不能赢。And that's where you come in. 这就是你在这里可以帮助我们了。I yes don't do you this. I am asking you to help us add more languages and more translators. 现在我就是希望你能够帮助我们更加多一些啊，另另外的一些翻译的工作，而且更更加多一些语言上去。Te estoy pidiendo que、uh, nos ayudes para que podamos agregar más idiomas, más、uh, uh, idiomas. People in our own church translate the sermons into Chinese, Japanese, Tagalog, the language of the Philippines, Spanish, and of course I give them in English, and so we are able to do those five languages. But all the rest of the languages, we have to pay a small amount of money to the missionaries and Christian workers that translate all the other languages. Yes, in our own church, these friends have translated into Chinese, Spanish, and Japanese, and some Tagalog, which is from Moscow. But the rest of the languages have to be translated into other languages to help them translate. Y nosotros de, en la nuestra iglesia estamos nosotros mismos traduciendo en español, en a, a, japonés, en a, coreano, de, en a, chino a, y va pues claro en inglés. Y a, pero a, tenemos que pagar a los otros que están afuera de la iglesia. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up, but to add more languages, we're going to need your help. 现在我们网站上刊载的十几种语言呢，我们要啊。Uh, 用很多这个资金来赞助，但是要加多更多的语言的话，我们就需要你来帮助了。Estamos usando mucho dinero acá para los idiomas que sí tenemos en el sitio internet, pero para añadir más idiomas necesitamos ayuda. Could you possibly make a monthly pledge to help us add more languages to this website? 你能不能能够保证每个月来啊提拿出一笔这个啊资金来帮助我们，帮助我们把更多的语言加在我们网站上面？ Podrías mensualmente ayudarnos con una promesa para ayudarnos a añadir más idiomas. If you can do it, I'm asking you to send fifty dollars a month. If that's not possible, twenty-five dollars a month, and make a monthly pledge to this ministry to help us get these sermons out in those parts of the world where none of where none of our missionaries can go. 
，所以我希望你能够每个月呢，能够赞助些五十块钱，如果不可能的话，二十五块钱也可以，二十五块钱能够帮助我们把这个语言，把这各种各样的福音传到这个世界上面三分之一地区，我们这个西方传教士去不到的地方。Por favor, prometen para ayudar algo mensualmente para que podamos mandar esto a lugares donde los misioneros no pueden ir. Because the internet goes everywhere. La internet va a todas partes. And those native pastors can print out the sermons from their uh, from their computer or copy them down with a pencil or pen, and often uh, they circulate these sermons and uh, pass them on to others. So, would you help us with a monthly gift? So, those native pastors can print it out, or copy it out, or copy it out, or make copies, or send it to others. Can you help us with these tasks? Frequently, the pastors are writing word for word the things that they see on the computer, but the thing is that, for favor, help us mensually. And if you can do that, you can send the money by a credit card to the United States of America. You can send the money by a credit card, or you can send it by Western Union. And uh, uh, see if you can send it in with American money, if possible. And the sheet will come up in just a moment that tells you uh, how to send the money by credit card or the post office box where you can mail it. 你要是做奉献献给我们教会的话，也可以写支票。一会儿呢，屏幕上在底下就可以看到这些啊，寄给我们这个地址。同时，也可以用你的信用卡，或者是 PayPal， 或者 Western Union， 都可以呢做奉献给我们教会。请你帮助我们。Un momento da verás la dirección donde se puede enviar el dinero a través de tarjeta de crédito de PayPal o a Western Union, pero o las mandó los dinero dólares, pero si no da vienen pronto la dirección en la pantalla. So keep watching and that information will come up on the screen in just a moment. 所以继续看下来，观看下去一会儿，这个啊做奉献的信息呢，这就打印在这个屏幕上让你看了。Sigue mirando y esa información se verá en momento en la pantalla.